Yo, 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 what is going on, fellas? In today's book review, we got You Are a Badass by Jen Sir Sincero. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. And this was another very, very good book. Let's get straight into the notes. I had a lot for this one. Even after all this time, the sun never says to the earth, you owe me. Look at what happens with a love like this, that it lights the whole sky. You start out with nothing, and out of nothing, and out of no way, a way will be made. If you want to live a life you never had, you have to do things you have never done. You are a victim of the ruler you live by. The person needed for a, firm ma or for a firmer mattress sleeping on the floor. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration, Nikola Tesla. Focus on, what focus on what makes you feel good and you shall find a tract that which makes you feel good. You need to raise your frequency to match the vibration of what you want to tune into. <clears throat> the universe will match whatever vibration you put out and you can't fool the universe. When you're vibrating at a higher frequency, awesome things seem to flow to you effortlessly and you seem to stumble over the perfect people and perfect opportunities all the time the synchronicities that you'll start getting are insane everything will just start lining up and it gets crazy and crazier too it's funny because a lot of the times the things that you think make no sense or all the secrets to the universe be making like no sense and are right in front of you the whole time einstein coincidence is god's way of remaining anonymous energy action you have to believe faith being greater than your fear if you are depressed, you are living in the past. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. If you are at peace, you are living in the present. Animals are present in the moment 24-7, 365. Kids are also excellent guides to free-flowing 100% in the moment creating. There is no past. There is no future. There is only the moment, so live in it. Time is infinity. The money you want already exists. The person you want to meet is already alive. The experience you want to have is available. Think like electricity before the invention of the light bulb. Most people weren't aware of electricity or electricity's even existence. As soon as people put their awareness on it, they started to see it everywhere. It's not that the things or opportunities that we want in life don't exist yet. It's that we're not yet aware of their existence or the fact that we can really have them. The more practice you become at being present and connected to the source energy, the more available you are to download ideas and seize opportunities that you might miss out if you were all wrapped up in the endless character or endless chatter inside of your head. Once you can be someone else is a waste of the person you are. True self gets validation from within, not from external. Highly recommend keeping your mouth shut around people who are going to bring you down. Instead, seek out those who are already kicking butt or people that will support you. When taking great leaps forward, life often turns to shit before it turns to shine. Self-perception is a zoo. We often, <clears throat> we often need others to tell us what and who we are because sometimes it's hard to see all the good qualities in ourselves. It's just as easy to believe we're awesome as it is to believe we're giants sucking sucking at things when we're happy and all in love with ourselves we can't be bothered with the bullshit of our own or other people's appreciate how special you are one of one uncommon amongst uncommon drown yourself in affirmations i love my life do the things you love take care of yourself as if you're the most important person you've met find a replacement i have a big nose to i love my face Ditch the self-deprecating humor. Stop telling yourself bad things subconsciously. Doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's not. So that's why you got to be careful about who you hang around, the music you listen to, the TV you watch, the social media you consume. All of it plays into account in the subconscious. Don't compare yourself to others. The only competition is yourself. Becoming a better version of yourself every single day. Comparison is the fastest way to take all the fun out of life. Forgive yourself. I'm able to forgive myself and others. We are only human. No mistakes in life. Only lessons. Holding on to the bad does nothing good for you. You must forgive and let go. Love yourself. It's the holy grail of happiness. Lead and show others by demonstrating self-love to yourself. 
Get books from your tribe and find and search for one more your style. Eat food intuitively based on how you feel, not eating because you are bored. What other people think of you has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. Ask yourself why, always do your best, trust your intuition, find a temporary role model, love yourself. To be able to tap into the unified field, you must be 100% in the moment. The power of giving, it makes you feel better than anything in the world. When we share what we are, what we brought here to give, we are all in alignment with the higher, highest, most powerful selves. How to get clear on your calling. Be the alien. What is the person you inhibited is obviously awesome at? What did they have fun doing? What connections did they have? What resources and opportunities are available to them? Take the first step, take the first right step by taking action. Most answers reveal themselves through doing, not thinking. Involved interacting with people, helped people in some way, was really fun, forced me to bathe and leave the house. No matter how clueless you feel right now, pay attention to suggestions and opportunities that suddenly present themselves. And notice how you feel. Is there something for you that whatever reason feels like it might be good to check out? Do your best wherever you are at. Everything you do along your journey contributes to where you are going. Don't reinvent the wheel. If what someone else is doing sparks your interest, take notice. It could mean that your calling has something in common with theirs. Figure out what makes you feel alive and maximizes your energy. Don't get caught up in the thunderbolt hype. Things you like change and you adapt over the weeks, months, years, always finding something new. Listen to your intuition, follow your fantasies. If you had unlimited amount of money, what would you be doing with your fantasies and your reality? Um, and what would you do in the free world? Love yourself like you, like the only you there is. It is only better to be hated for what you are than to be loved for what you are not. Follow how you feel. It will lead you to the way. Wake up at 5 a.m., go to bed at 8 p.m., eat food, those things are for myself. You are never alone or helpless. The force that guides the stars guides you too. Meditate more throughout the day and in the sauna, especially when you're low on energy. Meditate and relax into the present moment. When we meditate, we get into our vortex, connecting to the source energy, which automatically brings us into the present moment. It raises our frequencies, open up to receive unlimited information and ideas, relaxes us, relives or relieve stress strengthens our intuition ability to focus allow us to hear our inner voice more clearly fills us with light and love puts us in a good mood helps us love ourselves alpha delta theta gamma brain waves basic meditation sit in cross like position hands on your knees or in your lap sit up with a straight and erect spine relax entire face especially your jaw and your forehead Close your eyes and gaze softly using your peripheral vision. Focus on your breath going in and out of your body. Do vagal breathing, deep breaths into the stomach. Release only or release any thoughts. Focus on the breath. Keep the mind clear, empty, and listen for intuitive hints that may come through. Start your day with meditation. When we first wake up, we are still in deep brain wave states and very relaxing way to start the day. Meditating is about receiving energy from the universe. Ask it questions and you shall receive, speaking your words into existence can reach the most euphoric feelings good states simply while meditating our thoughts are the most powerful tools we have become the person of the cloud you admire in other people the moment you have the audacity to start believing in the not yet to seen your reality will begin to shift when you take the leap and believe in the not yet seen you aren't supposed to know how to make it happen find out what you want uh, put your to put your energy into and attention and action into it and the universe will take care of the rest when it's going to happen and how it's going to happen your job isn't to know the how it is to it is to know the what and to be open to discovering and receiving the how keep your thoughts directed at your goals do everything that you do know how to do it to make it happen decide with unwavering determination that it, that it will happen and be on the lookout for the opportunity the world we, as we have created it, is a process of our thinking. It cannot be changed without changing our thinking. Ask and it is given. Meditate, get in touch with the source energy and ask, believe, imagine, feel as if you already have it. Act as if, live, eat, sleep, and breathe your vision. Upgrade your environment. Keep yourself clean. Hang around high energy people. 
let in air, light a candle. Make a vision board, fill your mind with images and experience of what you wanna manifest and think on how you will feel when you have already achieved these things. So she had a board where she would take out pictures from magazines, print out things online to where the things you wanna achieve or wanna already have. But let's say for example, you want a Lamborghini, take, get a picture of it online, put it on the vision board, write down what it feels like to already achieve it, go to a dealership and test drive one, do all these different things to manifest it. Surround yourself with people who think the way you want to think. When you hang out with whiners, pessimists, tweakers, bleakers, freak outers, and life it sounds so unfair. It is an uphill to climb yourself out of a, into a positive headspace from there. Stay away from people who you see as limitless possibility of reality. Surround yourself with people who act on their big ideas and who take action on making positive changes in the world and who see nothing out of, out of their reach. Stop hanging around limited thinkers. Stay away from... <laughs> I wrote down the people uh, in my life out here in these streets. How do you do one thing that is how you do everything? Practice how you play in the game. You should be naturally attracted towards people and naturally drawn away from others. You should feel it, listen to it, and stay away from the people that you don't feel good around and stay close to those where you feel great. Love yourself unless you have a better idea. We only get a limited mind in our bodies. Why not celebrate the journey instead of merely riding it until it's over? Think back to times when you couldn't wait to create, when you couldn't wait to wake up in the morning. Try to, try to do that again. If you're having trouble finding your groove, think back to your attitude and what priorities were when you were totally lit up about life. See what you can get away with. Life is ridiculous and crazy. See what you can do and ask yourself, why not? Lose track of time. Time doesn't exist when you don't put your attention on it. Instead of counting the days, make the days count and fill up your time with things to do. Being in the state of flow where time flies by, working out, meditating, napping, playing sports, talking to the other humans. When you lose sense of time, you have an officially entered the vortex. When you focus on one task without dirt distractions, you can get into the state. Hire someone to do something or hire people to do the tasks that you do not like doing. Make doing the things you love a priority. Keep being the beginner because you're always going to fail at the new things in life. You always got to start out from not knowing anything and humble yourself. Always try new things. When you're new at something, it's going to take time to get good at it. It humbles you. Giving to others, there's no better feeling than selflessly giving to another. Giving is one of our greatest joys. It can also make for one of the most fearless and powerful gestures there are. When we trust that we live in an abundant universe and allow ourselves to give freely, we raise our uh, frequency, strengthen our faith, and feel awesome, thereby putting ourselves in a flow in the position to receive abundant amounts in return. Karma getting back 10x what you put out. When we're in fear, we hold on to what we've got because we don't trust that there's more. We pinch off the energy we're scared to share and we focus on and create more of. The very thing we're hoping to avoid, which is lack. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So the more you give, the more you get back and vice versa. Receiving has a different energy than selflessly taking. Start giving back more often. There's an unlimited abundance of everything smothering and taking our fear-based and needy. Giving and receiving are full of gratitude and surrendering to the flow. And you give back. I suggest not giving back to tell others or just giving back just for good karma. Give back with the intent of just like, you know, trying to make the other person's day and just like, you know, just a, a great experience. And you can do it so many different ways. It doesn't have to be money. Again, you can pick up someone's something or something. Bleh. You can pick up someone's pencil if they drop it, a notebook if they drop it. You can hold open a door for someone. These small little things all go a long way. With money, you can do simple things. My favorite one out of any, anything, and it doesn't have to be that much money compared to other things where, you know, you might give someone a gift of like, a couple hundred dollars and it's not even going to do anything just because it's like kind of materialistic ish but if you go to a kid's lemonade stand and you give them 20 bucks bro they get the, the brightest smile on their face and they literally cannot believe it that's my like favorite thing to do is go to a lemonade stand or anything that a kid's selling like i have a girl scout has a bunch of girl scout cookies bro i'll literally wipe them all clean off the table and like bro the reaction is literally priceless because kids are like the most highly like energetic people there kind of are and they can't believe some things because it's never happened to them in life and then you do it and it changes everything and also i like to do it because i 
used to do that stuff as a kid. And then when that someone would do that to me, I'd be like, it would make me grind harder. It would keep me motivated to go. And I want to do the same thing to those other people. If you want to attract the good things and feelings into your life, send awesomeness out to everyone around you. Give one of your favorite things away to someone who would totally love it and do it without them knowing where it came from. Leave a dollar tip or more than you usually tip when going out to eat. Try tipping, in my opinion, just try tipping $100 to the waiter, bro, and I'm telling you, you will make their night. Because, like, no one ever does it. And, again, dude, the more you give, you'll start getting back everything. Uh, give love to those who are snarky and praise them. Smile, compliment, and crack people up as much as possible. Say yes to invitations you normally wouldn't say yes to. So all this stuff is telling you to just go in the unknown and the places where you're afraid to go. Because as soon as you do it, the reward you get from it is crazy. Stop and feel how great your body feels when you give and receive and raise your frequencies and expect more good things to come your way. Gratitude, the gateway drug to happiness. When you're grateful, fears disappear and abundance appears. Always be polite. Cut yourself off from the supply of awesomeness when you are not in the state of gratitude. Laughing is the highest vibration in which you're saying thank you for being hilarious. Faith is having the audacity to believe in the not yet seen. Faith is your best buddy when scared shitless. Being grateful for what you already have, you don't know when or how it will happen, but you know it will happen. Being in gratitude for the not yet manifested informs the universe that you know you deserve what already exists and puts you in the right frequency to receive it. So many people in hindsight, when they achieve their goals or did things, everyone's like, no one believed in me when I was first doing it. Everyone was laughing at me. And then they end up doing all these crazy things and they gain all the confidence and stuff in the world. So when you first start doing things, there's not going to be many people unless you're already around these type of people where everyone's going to support you and believe in you. Most people are not going to believe you at all but you got to go in the op di opposite direction of what they say and go all out in these areas because like again like every single time there's a place where you're scared to go try to go through it because it's worked out at least for me almost every single time no matter a good or bad habit i learned a lesson from it i learned something amazing got more confident and it just is like never ending but a lot of times in those areas where they're most scared to go that's when you really unlock everything forgiving means my bad this is good because no matter what happens good or bad always seeing the good side of things write thank you notes every night before bed to review 10 things that happened during the day you're thankful for forgiving means giving up all the hope for a better past find compassion erase the other person from the equation decide you'd rather be happy than right look at it from all angles look at things from their point of view have a total fit. Remember that you won't even remember this. <clears throat> if it won't matter in five years, don't worry about it. Forget about it. Give everyone a clean slate. You don't have or you don't puddle against the current. You go with it. And eventually you can throw away the I don't know what that says. The oars, I guess is the thing you row the boat with. Slowing down for the almighty holy cow. Talk to strangers. We all are family on this earth. Expect the enjoyment of the unexpected. Find the humor. Join the party. Live in the moment. Time spent enjoying yourself is never time wasted. Shape your space. Loosen your brain waves or loosen your bone. Something. Reality is merely an illusion, albeit a very persistent one. So many things were right in front of our faces, but we never realized because we weren't putting our attention on it. When you choose to focus on what becomes your reality. If the doors of perception were cleansed, everything would appear to be as infinite. Our existence appearance on this planet is how we choose to perceive reality. Commit to releasing attachment to a low frequency thoughts and experiences. Become aware of your stories are, become aware of where you are going from your stories, identifying false beliefs you're reaping and holding on to those stories. Get rid of the stories, the versions of yourself that you think that are that are self-limiting get a move on get out of your routine talk to strangers wear something different go to a new grocery store read a new book learn a new skill get out of your normal routine and find many new sparks that will come into your life sidestep the spiral we put so much energy into finding excuses on why we cannot do things if we use that energy towards our goals achieve them way faster just like how some people talk about doing so much when instead of even talking about it, if they just did it, 
they would achieve so much more. We all know more than what we give ourselves credit for knowing. We are drawn to things we're naturally good at. There's no better teacher than necessity. Passion trumps fear. Procrastination is one of the most popular forms of self-sabotage because it's so easy. If you're serious about changing your life, you'll find a way. If not, you'll find an excuse. Remember that done is better than perfect. Nothing will ever be 100%. The imperfections is what makes life perfect. Momentum is a wonderful thing. Notice where you stop or when you hesitate to just do things. Removing the known distractions. Make a bet with someone uh, means, yeah, make a bet with someone with what you want to do because then that way you'll hold it. Own it and work with it. There's nothing more worse than time wasted pretending to work or stressing out while having fun. Lose-lose situation. I have lived a long life and I've had many troubles, most of which never happened. A lot of the problems are inside of our head and then we try to make up new stories about how things are going to happen when it never has happened. Life is but a dream. Don't turn it into a nightmare. Get some help. Ask friends, family, strangers for perspective. A lot of times we're so tangled up in our lives that we can't see something that's totally obvious to someone else. Get the advice from someone who knows what they're doing and is experienced. Don't get money advice from someone who's broke or dating advice from someone who is single. Working with a pro will save you time and money in the long run. Work with a guru and a teacher who has already mastered things. They have already gone through all the problems that you can skip by just going through them. You won't have to spend time undoing and doing over whatever your first wimpy attempt was. Get into reality. Sometimes we can take or more on than we can chow. Hyper focus on certain events, places, people, skills, and master it. Don't try to do 25 things at once. So the whole thing goes back to don't dig a hundred wells that go one inch deep into the ground or one foot into the ground and get no water or gold or oil. You want to dig holes where you'd rather go dig one hole that's a hundred feet deep and strike diamond than do a hundred small ones and get nothing. Get into reality. Sometimes we can say, oh my bad, I already said that. Why are you doing the things you are doing? Do you need them all this at the same time? Be handed off to someone else, dropped all together. Is it absolutely necessary at all? Just like chalking down your time chunks in, uh, from your habits. Make to-do list, what needs to happen right now, what can wait list bottom or top to bottom with priority, chain of command. Do what you enjoy instead of trying to do it all in misery. Hire people to do things for you. Deciding you can have something you don't need or want instantly cuts you off from the flow of manifesting it. Remember that you are number one. Don't look at the phone until you have everything done for the day complete. I'm exhausted. Take time off to recover and rejuvenate. It's healthy. It's human. It's your body. It will give you signals. Long term, this works. Stop playing the short term game of short term intensity and our long term consistency beats short term intensity. Uh, we tiptoe through life trying to safely make it to death. Fear is a choice. Learn to be comfortable in the unknown instead of scared of it. Is your fear is greater than your faith or is your faith greater than your fear? On the other side of fear is your freedom. View the fear from the rear view mirror or cookie jar. So cookie jar is uh, this guy named David Goggins. He has cookies and Every single time he'll look back in the past for good moments where he and where he did something incredible or incredible, he'd go back and take a cookie from the cookie jar. For example, let's say he ran a marathon, he would take a cookie from that cookie jar, remember it, go in the moment, do whatever he needs to do. He'll look back at everything in the past achievements that he did that gave him confidence. Our great fears are a great waste of time. Our that's funny. Our greatest fears are the greatest waste of time. Flip the fear. Look at it from a different perspective. Why do you fear and flip it? And the end result is a feeling of shame. Ask yourself, are you not going to do something because of a feeling of shame? Be in the moment. Is anything bad actually happening to you in the moment? Or is it just the thoughts in your head? Being in the moment is where source energy comes from. Cut off the stream of crap. Be more conscious of the information you absorb, the people you hang around, the videos you watch, the books you read, the movies you watch, what you focus on day-to-day -day life. If you want to help the world, help yourself. You shouldn't have to tell people things that they want to learn. They should ask questions and then you can tell them. Otherwise, it is a waste of time. Be the leading example of yourself and you'll naturally attract people like you in your life. Keep your frequency high and do the work from a place of power and joy. 
Don't think of anything upsetting in bed at night. Don't think about your problems when trying to sleep and deal with them during the day. Instead, look at it of all the amazing things in your life. Love yourself. Millions of mirrors were attracted to the things that remind us of ourselves the most. If somebody bugs you, you're prospecting onto them something you don't like about yourself. If you think they're awesome, they're reflecting back something that you see in yourself that you like. The people you surround yourself with are excellent mirrors for what or for who you are, how much or how little you love yourself. Only hang around high vibrational people. You should naturally be attracted to them and be normally repelled by people who are not. We attract people in our lives for a reason, just as they are attracted to theirs. We all help each other grow and figure out our issues. Seize the opportunity to learn from people instead of reacting. You start attracting people, things, opportunities that are all in alignment with who you are truly, which is a bunch more fun than hanging around energy suckers. Own your ugly, use people as a mirror. Question your ugly. If you don't like a friend, always show up late. Ask yourself, in what ways am I ever late? Stop insulting people that do things exactly the way you do them. Don't be the enabler. Recognize the difference between helping and enabling. Go based on how you feel if you're helping them. You should feel good. They want to learn. It will raise everyone's frequency. If you're enabling them, you'll feel heavy, drained, or energy, resentful, unnatural. Give painful people the heave-ho. Give good friends constructive criticism for bettering themselves. When you know they can take it, hit uh, da, da, da. hit eject if you need to cut out the relationships and leave them. Until one is committed, there is hesitancy. The chance to draw back always effect is always effective. The moment one definitely commits oneself, then providence moves too. If it wasn't uncomfortable, everyone would be doing it. So often we pretend we've made a decision when what we've really done is signed up to try until it gets too uncomfortable. Success often consists of going from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. Nobody gets to the top of the mountain without failing on, falling on his face over and over again. Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team for lack of skill. Thomas Edison was dubbed too stupid to learn anything by a teacher. Tried more than 9,000 experiments before creating or successfully creating the light. Beethoven's music teacher told him he was talentless. The failure is quitting. Everything else is just gathering information. Run it badly, get good at it, decide is freedom, indecision is torture. Give yourself deadlines about when you're going to do deciding things and when it comes to doing the simple chores and tasks, just do it. Use your gut feeling, your intuition, it should come naturally, you shouldn't even have to try. Eliminate the negotiation progress between yourself. Stick like glue. Money is a currency and a currency is energy. The more you have, the more you have to share. One of the best things you can do in the world is prove yourself. Money is an exchange of money between money is an exchange of energy between people. Think and grow rich, Napoleon Hill. The science of getting rich, Wallace Waddles. I guess those are books are I wrote down from the book to read. It's not your job to know the how, it's your job to ask for what you want and wait to discover the how, then take action. God has perfect timing. Surround yourself with people that know more than you. When the student is ready, the teacher appears. Allowing instead of forcing, your faith in the universe must be stronger than the fear of not getting what you want. It's about releasing and trusting that's in alignment without life's purpose. It will come back to us or something or someone or even more perfect than it will come in its place. Surrendering is a part where you need to hand the job over to the universe. <clears throat> How to surrender, get crystal clear on what you want to desire to manifest. See it, feel it, taste it, fall in love with it, believe it is already here. Decide you will have it. Inform the universe of your initiation by behaving and thinking you'll already have it. Meditate, connect with the infinite possibilities, your intuition, your source energy. Take hellbent, joyful passion, fueled action. Be grateful that it is all yours, that it's already here. Breathe, let it go, let it in. Surrendering is the free falling backwards into the unknown and trusting that the universe will catch you. And this can't be done from a place of lack or a place of mistrust. You must fall back, have faith, be grateful, and wait. And while you're at it, love yourself and enjoy life. An epiphany is a visual of understanding something you have already know. 
Keep moving to new challenges, getting uncomfortable instead of stagnating and settling. Get uncomfortable every day. Sheesh, that was one of the longer ones as well. Can't believe there aren't that many pages on it, bro. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Other than that, it's your boy. Have a good day and deuces.